Okay, for this problem we have a um, situation where I have the Dallas Mavericks play an 82 game schedule for the National Basketball Association. And at currently, uh, the Mavericks play 52 t games against teams in the Western Conference and 30 games against teams in the Eastern Conference. Uh, at the time of this recording, the Mavericks are a pretty good team. And the chance that the Mavericks win a game against a, uh, a team in the Western Conference is 55%. But the chance that the Mavericks win against a team in the Eastern Conference is 75% because generally the teams in the Eastern Conference are not as good as the teams in the Western Conference. Okay, for the sake of simplicity, let's assume that the results of all the games are independent. Approximate the probability that the Mavericks win at least 50 games. So here I have two random variables. So let x be the number of wins um, against Western Conference teams. And let y be the number of wins against Eastern Conference teams. Then x is binomial with parameters 52 and 0.55, while y is binomial with parameters 30 and 0.75. Okay, so the way that we're going to do this, find the probability that the Mavericks win at least 50 games. So the question is to find the probability that x plus y is um, is uh, greater than or equal to 50. The way that we will do this is we will recognize that x is approximately normally distributed by the central limit theorem. y is also approximately uh, normally distributed by the central limit theorem. And therefore, if I take x plus y, since x and y are independent, x plus y will also be approximately normally distributed. So x plus y will be approximately normally distributed with some mean and some variance that I'm going to figure out. Now let's figure those out. The expected value of x plus y. The expected value of x plus y will just simply be the expected value of x plus the expected value of y. So that'll be 52 times 0.55 plus 30 times 0.75 and if I did the arithmetic right, that's equal to 51.1. So that's the expected number of games will be uh, one will be 51.1. Then to figure out the standard deviation of x plus y, let's figure out the variance. So the variance of x plus y is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y. which equals 52 times 0.55 times 1 minus 0.55 plus 30 times 0.75 times 0.25 and doing the arithmetic I get 18.495 and therefore the standard deviation for the sum is approximately equal to the square root of that number which is 4.3006 So therefore, the probability that the sum x plus y is greater than or equal to 50. Well, x plus y is a discrete random variable, so I apply the continuity correction. That's the chance that z is less than, greater than or equal to 49.5 minus the mean 51.1 divided by the standard deviation, which is 4.3006. Okay, and then uh, doing the arithmetic, that's the probability that z is greater than or equal to negative 0 0.3720. So I need to find the area under the standard normal bell curve to the right of negative 3.720. And so using my calculator or a table, uh, this works out to be 0 0.6451. And so the chance that the Mavericks win at least 50 games is 64.5%. Part two, approximate the probability that the Mavericks win more games against Western Conference opponents than Eastern Conference opponents. So this concerns uh, the probability x minus y. And I want to find the probability 
that x minus y is greater than or equal to 1, that the number of wins against the Western Conference is at least one more than the number of wins against the Eastern Conference. Okay, so to do this, we recognize again that x minus y will be normally distributed with some different mean and some different variance from what I found before. So I'll put the subscript 1 there just to mean that this is going to be some different mean than what I had before. All right, expected value of x minus y is equal to the expected value of x minus the expected value of y. So that's 52 times 0.55 minus 30 times 0.75, which is 6.1. Now the variance of x minus y is equal to, according to my rule, this is the variance of x plus negative 1 squared times the variance of y. So I don't subtract here, it's plus negative 1 squared. And this is exactly the same thing as what I had up here. It's variance of x plus variance of y. So that's going to be the exact same thing, 18.495. And so the standard deviation of x minus y will be the same, 4.3006. So x minus y is not the same as x plus y, but they have the same standard deviation, but different means. So to the problem at hand, the probability that x minus y is greater than or equal to 1 Converting to standard units, that's the probability that z is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. Again, applying the continuity correction that I could decrease by 0 0.5, minus the expected mean of 6.1, divided by the standard deviation of 4.3006. So that's the probability that z is greater than or equal to negative 1.30215. So I need to find again an area under the bell curve that looks like this at negative 1.30215. And so using the calculator, that works out to be approximately 90.4%. And so that's the probability that there are more wins against the Western Conference than against the Eastern Conference.